WWE Champion CM Punk has held the championship 343 days, the 10th longest streak in history. Yeah, but you know there are rumors swirling here tonight that CM Punk is scared to get into the cell with a Ryback, despite the fact that he promised to walk out as WWE Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ryback's first championship match and his first Hell in a Cell match. Is there pressure? Of course there's pressure, but there's also precedent. Triple H had a huge victory in his first Hell in a Cell match, as did Shawn Michaels against The Undertaker, albeit controversial. Batista is another one. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest set for one fall is for the WWE Championship and will be contested inside Hell in a Cell. Introducing first from Sin City, weighing 291 pounds, Ryback. And his opponent being accompanied by Paul Heyman from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing 218 pounds, he is the current WWE Champion, C.M. Punk. The rules of a Hell in a Cell match. You can only win by pinfall or submission. The fall can take place anywhere. This is the 26th Hell in a Cell match, and the first since perhaps the greatest one ever at WrestleMania this past year between Triple H and Undertaker. The Cell was introduced 15 years ago this month, and this match has changed men. It has cut short careers, and in turn, has made legends. Yeah, Tim White, the referee, never came back from simply refereeing a Hell in a Cell match. That's how dangerous this structure is. Throughout his run as champion king, CM Punk has won every match imaginable, but he's never won inside Hell in a Cell. If Ryback can win here tonight in his first ever Hell in a Cell match, he'd be ahead of some of the greats that have never been able to win in this demonic structure. You're right. Stone Cold Steve Austin comes to mind. He had a pretty amazing career, but he never won inside Hell in a Cell. The Cell itself seemingly takes on a personality of its own that some superstars just can't figure out. Right. The Rock, Chris Jericho, Big Show, all great superstars, but none of them ever won a Hell in a Cell match. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. He was one step ahead on that one. Tie up. This is about skill and power. And here's CM Punk. CM Punk making a move. If there's anything we've learned about Ryback since his arrival, it's that he doesn't work by the hour. 
This man has destructive intentions. We've seen him make quick work of everybody put in front of him, including the pairings of Epico and Primo, Kurt Hawkins and Tyler Rex, among others. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. How can you keep Ryback down? That's what CM Punk has to solve right here. Perhaps an equalizer will help. Everything's illegal here inside the cell. There are no disqualifications. Well, these men have nowhere to go. And of course, they can use the cell as a weapon. If I'm Punk, I'd use that steel to try and minimize Ryback's great strength and power advantage. What a week it's been for Ryback. Back on Monday, he defeated former WWE Champion The Miz on Raw. And on main event on Wednesday, he beat former world champion Dolph Ziggler. And we saw him manhandle CM Punk as we went off the air on Monday night. Yeah, but Ryback has never been in a cage match, and he's certainly never been in Hell in a Cell. It's sink or swim for this beast tonight. Cole, some of the most jaw-dropping moments in WWE history has taken place inside Hell in a Cell. Who will ever forget June 1998 when Undertaker literally threw Mankind off the top of the structure and threw the announce table below? You were sitting there. Oh, I thought he was dead. And just a few months before that marked the first time we laid eyes on Kane when he tore through the cell to confront his brother, The Undertaker. And speaking of Undertaker, many consider his WrestleMania 28 encounter with Triple H to be the greatest Hell in a Cell match of all time. Of course, the referee that night, Shawn Michaels. King, you mentioned earlier that there were rumors swirling about CM Punk being scared to get into the cell with Ryback. Do you believe CM Punk is scared? Well, 343 days as champion says you're not scared of anything. I'm willing to bet that CM Punk learned a lot in his first Hell in a Cell match against Undertaker in 2009. That might give him some confidence. I don't see any confidence in CM Punk. We've already seen Paul Heyman earlier tonight lobbying on Punk's behalf to get this match canceled. It seems to me that Punk is very anxious and apprehensive to be in this environment with a 300-pound animal. CM Punk hoping to define his legacy here tonight. Yeah, Punk craves respect. And if he can beat Ryback, I think he'd get all the respect he wants. But he first has to figure out a way to keep this monster Ryback down. You know, Mick Foley did an interview with WWE.com where he gave advice to both men in the cell tonight. His advice to CM Punk, win this match. Define your legacy right here, right now, tonight. In that same interview, Foley questioned if Ryback would have the stamina to compete in this matchup if it went a great length. Fatigue can make us all cowards, Foley said. Well, that's a good point by Foley. Ryback hadn't been involved in many long matchups. And speaking of Foley, let's not forget his first Hell in a Cell match. I don't think he'll ever really recover from that one. CM Punk has had an incredible title reign. That's it. He's done. Of course, earlier tonight, we saw Big Show defeat Sheamus to claim the World Heavyweight Championship. And the win marked Big Show's second World Heavyweight Championship win in the WWE. Some might forget his first. It didn't last that long. No, King, it didn't. Immediately after defeating Mark Henry for the title in December of last year, Big Show fell victim to Daniel Bryan. Oh, right into that ring post. He does it again. He's enjoying this. A quick reversal by Ryback. Poked in the eyes again, showing no mercy. Oh, and again, finger to the eye. Once again, using that post like a weapon. Great reversal. What a shot. He seems dazed. He's confused. into that steel. And we've come to yet another turning point in this match. Uh-oh. Look where he's going again. And he's heading back in. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, trying to pull him away. Ryback is a force within the ring. Uh-oh, what a move. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Whoa, don't get up. 
This could be it. Ryback. Oh, man. Ryback's getting punk up. Going for shell shock. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, and what the hell? The referee, Brad Maddox, is... Hey, look at this. And look now, a quick count. I can't believe what I just saw. Wow. 